Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we are going to see the magic commands of Jupyter Notebook which you wish if you are using Jupyter Notebook you should know earlier. So let's get started. So for example I have a variable for integer value then I have a value then I have a variable for a list then I have a dictionary. I will store some random values in our dictionary. Okay. Now, if we want to know all the variables, suppose here are only three variables, but if we have many variables uh, which we have declared, and we want to know about all the variables that how many variables we have declared, so Jupyter Notebook gives you command for that, that is percentage and then who and if you'll execute the cell, you will get all the names of the variable that you have declared. Now, now, after that, now if you want to check the variables who are only in teaser, so you can write percentage who and then you can give int so int is also an keyword which specifies integer so we have declared three variables from that x is only the integer value now you can check for multiple values also suppose you want to check for list so we have given int space list so x and y x is the integer and y is the list then you can so on check for the dict also just like that if you have some string value suppose you have some string value also so you can check for that also suppose you will just write str oh i have not executed the cell and now you will get the s okay after that if you want your values in this list format so what you can do means the values like this if you want in list format so you can give it like this who underscore ls and you will get all the variables name inside a list now the same commands get applied to here also since you can perform the same thing here also suppose if you want only the integer variable so you have to write integer if you want integer and dict so you can write integer and dict if you want the str also means the string then you can do like this okay now after that you can do one more thing what you can do you, you can create a variable for that then in this variable you can store the percentage who underscore ls in this where underscore name and then if you'll print where underscore name then this will print now what you can do you can apply the command directly in here also suppose if you want to print only int so you can just write here by giving space int and int and when you'll print this where underscore name so x will only get printed okay now suppose if you have created one function also like i am creating a function here that will return a f string in that it will hello and then the name will get print okay now if we'll do this wait let me remove this first yeah then hello is getting printed actually variable is not the right word in python in python everything is an object so hello is also being treated as an object x is also being treated as an object and y z as all all these variables have been treated as an object so same goes to the function also function here is also getting treated as an object so hello is also coming here okay now if you want to know about the function 
then what you can do you can just simply write who and then you you will write function now one more thing these things were are a keyword in python but function is no keyword we have no keyword like function in python but then also jupyter notebook provide us this function if i'll write this function then the function which we have created suppose if i'll create one more function like greet and that function will not return anything it will print suppose good morning so now if i'll call this who function then i'll get the name of the two functions grit and hello like this okay now we'll move forward and then we'll see one more useful command now when we are checking by only writing who then we are getting only the name of that particular variable or you can say oh, the particular objects now if you want all the information about all the uh, objects created in uh, cre uh, which we have created so we have to write whose w h o and s percentage w h o s and now you will see all the functions you will get the description the full description of that variables in three columns first you will get the variable in this the variable name is there then you will get the type of that variable and then you will get the data or you can say the information about that variable okay now here first the last uh, function we have created is greet what type it is it is a function and where it has been stored it has been stored at this memory place then there is hello it is also a function and this is its memory now the s it is a object or you can say the variable what is the type of that variable str string and what is written in this python then the var name the variable which we have created what is that it is a list because you'll notice the answer is coming in the list here the answer is coming because we have used who underscore ls so its type is list and how many contents are there in this list the contents will be six one two three four five and six so that's why n is equal to six then there is x that is integer 10 then there is y list how many values are there three and then there is a dictionary and how many values are there in the dictionary two so in this way you can get the information now the same thing will apply to who's also means in the who's also if you want to print only the function so you have to write the function then the function will get print if you want to do the integer then you will get the only integer value if you want to get the dict value then you will you can write dict if you want to get the str then you can get the str means the same command applied to who's also okay now the next thing is about how to erase all the self declare variables so there is percentage reset for that when you execute the cell then it will ask for yes or no once deleted variables cannot be recovered if you want to proceed give y or else give n so i want yes now now i'll show you if i'll print x there will be name error because what we have done using percentage reset all the variable which we have created by ourselves not the built-in ones not the built-in variables and function the functions and variables which we have created and when we'll do this reset thing what it will ask for the permission first if we'll do y means yes then what will happen then it will reset delete all the variables from the memory means now these variables are not stored in the memory and if we'll call any one of them so it will not work suppose i'm calling the greet function so it will throw a name error because nothing is like greet now okay okay now if you'll notice uh, in here so in is a list uh, i'll print in to you it is a list of all the operations which we have performed which we have given the inputs 
then there is output also then there is one out also and this is all the output operation which we have given to us as you can see one two first then get run line magic who then we have run the who command then who int command the who int list and then it has returned to us text constraints then this this these are the things now you can reset these things also how you have how you can reset then again it is asking for the permission when you will give y so as you can see flushing input history flushing output kk one entry okay now now one entry will be always there now we'll see in now if we'll see the in it is not actually deleted and why it has but the content has been removed content has been removed but it actually it is not deleted why because because of this number as you can see 39 it has to remember the number that's why it has been remembered okay now same goes with the out also the content will be deleted but the numbers will be not deleted means this is the number how many times it has been executed so it is 39 times so that is why it has not been deleted and you can see the last one in and this one out which has been done now these two are getting these are after doing the reset after we have uh, write the reset command after that we have performed two commands in and out that has been that is showing here okay now we'll move forward to the next command so first for that i have to create some variables first name then there is last name language and then suppose i'm giving a url clcoding.com okay now i'll run the cell then create a new cell and in this cell what i am going to perform i am going to now reset the selective ones means i'll reset the selective ones now how i'm going to do that using the underscore i'll write percentage res reset then underscore selective then i'll give use the dot operator then i'll use the asterisk for all now what will happen when i'll do yes so all the variables who has means this dot operator is telling that now after coming all the variables and as this asterisk is showing all means all the variables which has name in it will get deleted now when i'll execute the cell and i'll print first underscore name then again it will throw a name error because it is not present but when i'll do the url so url will come to us because url has no name so that's why url has not been deleted so this was for selective deletion and how you can reset the selective variables okay now after that there is one more thing for the search now for the search again i'll just copy paste this line and i'll create a new cell and in this cell for searching what we can do for searching there is a special command p search and then asterisk url now it is not a regular expression it is a global expression so that's why it is giving the value in a global uh, in a global manner now suppose if you are number of variables what is the use of this command is that if there are number of variables you have created and now you forgot that in which cell or in which in the starting part or in the ending part or in the middle part where you have declared that particular variable or that variable is present or not then this search can be performed and this is very useful also and if you if the variable name is very long and you just remember one two lines like here there is first name and last name but i only remember suppose name so i'll just search 
asterisk name percentage pieces asterisk name and all the variables which has name in it will get will get as a global value search will get as a global search value and then it will be seen to you that yes they are present and then it will be very easy to you to find okay so that's all for today this was some magic commands of jupyter notebook uh, which i find very useful hope you guys also use it in your day-to-day -day programming thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video